heavy. I know. Holy crap. Just, did you get it in Los Angeles or? Yeah. Holy crap, you went to the actual. Is one or two times in my life, and I remember throwing a rock off. Hey everyone, I just want to show you what settings I use on the Hasselblad X1D. For my portraits, I want to show you um, the settings for the exposure triangle, the ISO, shutter speed, and aperture, and I'll show you some tips um, that I use when shooting my portraits with the X1D. And uh, Shari's no stranger to the channel. This is actually her third time on the channel. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Shari. This is my third time here on this channel. I'm, uh, how old am I? I'm 26 years old. I'm a new mom. So this is my first photo shoot um, since mm -hmm. becoming a mother. So it's kind of a big deal for me. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. And I think the pictures are coming out really amazing so far. That's because I've known Shari for about almost 10 years. Maybe about wow. nine, We're nine years. Now. We're old now, yeah. <laughs> So when you, if you have a good relationship with your subject, your model, the pictures are just going to be good because you know each other and you kind of know how to communicate and what pictures you're looking for what's and you expected. can, what's suspected, yeah. So we're still going to do some more um, shooting. We still have about an hour or some left. Man, okay. these are nice pictures. One, two, and three. Okay, so I'm shooting Shari now, and with almost every camera that I've owned, I've always done aperture priority. I care more about um, having the fastest aperture or the lowest f-stop value. And with this lens, it's a 3.2. I would like a good subject to background separation. My ISO is always on auto, and I can show you in this for camera and the configuration. I always have it from a range from minimum 100 and max 12,800. And I just let the camera decide on the shutter speed. So right now if we play back, the shutter speed here is maxing out 2,000. But my settings for that in the menu, bring it back up and then configuration. I have it, shutter speed limit, um, half of the focal length. So I'm using a 90 millimeter lens. The lowest it will go down to is 45. If you have it to one fourth, the lowest shutter speed will be 90 times four, which is 360. But I have it to half, uh, oops, passed it. Half of the shutter speed or half of the focal length. So if I'm shooting in low light uh, situations, um, 45, 1 45th of a second, it's not going to be, you're not going to see that much blur. Because of the leaf shutter and the lens, uh, you can actually hand hold this at 1 45th of a second and you'll get sharp images. Good. I talked to you guys earlier about the exposure triangle. Uh, my ISO settings, like I said earlier, it's an auto. Um, I let the camera decide on the shutter speed. Uh, it was maxing out at 1 2000th of a second because it's very bright right now and I shoot on the fastest aperture, the lowest f-stop, which is 3.2, just to blur Shari from the, um, the background. Um, and if you run into any uh, trouble, if um, you're shooting and the background's really bright, but your subject is really underexposed, I'm gonna show you that example soon. You can use the exposure compensation dial on the X1D and you can turn it to make it bright. And I have it set to, after I take the picture, instead of me setting to like negative one, it'll go back to zero. So the next shot, you can decide if you want to lower it down again. OK, 
Okay, see how I'm taking a photo of Sherry? And I was telling everyone that if your subject is too bright, the dial right here at the back of the X1D, you can actually just move it and you can make your subject brighter. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna make Sherry brighter, plus 1.3. But I have it set where after I take the shot, it goes back down to zero. Right here, it goes back down to zero. And the settings in the camera to do that is you go to camera settings, exposure, and at the weight bottom, reset after exposure. So if you make an exposure compensation, like doing plus one exposure compensation, if you have this check marked, after you take the photo, it will go back down to zero. Because sometimes you don't want to always leave it at plus one. You may be wondering how come all your pictures are bright. So taking a photo of Shari, she's doing some candid poses. Okay, if I feel like she's too bright, you can look at the image. Okay, or sorry, too dark, okay. And then I'm just gonna do plus one. Make her brighter a bit for the next shot. Okay, so I got it. And then goes back down to zero. If you wanna always do, um, set the camera to plus one, expose your compensation, you just uncheck mark that option. This location, I noticed that some guys left the trash from barbecuing. Um, but what's really cool is they actually, the fire burnt the rock behind Sherry. If you can see that, it's light. So this burnt rock actually is gonna match her wardrobe. Is the background's darker in those two. Yeah. Fourth body. Good. One, two, three. So if you're wondering what my Y balance is, and a tip to get the focus point in the center, is you just press this X button here, um, is all the Y balance. And the reason why I have it there is because my quality I'm shooting in <clears throat> is raw. And if you're shooting it raw, you should always put an auto white balance because anyway in post-processing, um, what most of us uh, do anyway, you can easily change the, um, the white balance. One, two, and three. And the next tip I can give you is a focus point. I always do my best to focus on the model's eye. One, two, and three. And when someone looks at a photo or a portrait, they're always gonna look at the model's uh, face first. So you want to make sure her face is a focus by always focusing on the model's eye. Okay, so a uh, tip here, another tip I have is I set for the bottom left of the screen. When you have your eye to the EVF, we're looking through the EVF right now, I can touch the bottom left of my screen like what I'm doing now. Okay, we're going to go back in the EVF and it's just super easy to move the focus point like I'm doing. So I have Shari in the frame, I'm focusing on her eye, and I'm just taking shots. Oh, she moved, go focus on her eye again. Just taking shots, there you go. Move it down a little bit. It's just very easy to move it on the bottom left of the screen, because anyway your face is blocking the majority of the screen, so it's easier for you to, for you to move the focus point and just take uh, shots like that.
All right, we're done with our photo shoot. I hope you enjoyed me giving you um, some tips using the Hasselblad X1D for portraits. This is the settings I have been using on every uh, YouTube video that you have seen on the channel. And Shari, how did you enjoy the photo shoot today? It was an awesome first day back. Yes. Highly recommend this guy if you guys are a model looking to shoot in Guam. I just pretend I know how to shoot. This is your man. And shout out to Godfrey on the video, taking good quality videos. Um, I enjoyed it. It was a good day, perfect weather. Great weather. The beach is always good. So yeah, I loved it. Plug your Instagram so people can follow you. Oh, so yeah, my Instagram is at Sherry, uh, no wait. Yeah, at, at Le Sherry. That's it. Um, follow me if you want to. If not, it's okay. I know you recently put your Instagram profile in public now. Yeah, I just put it back on yeah. public. Um, it was on private for a while, but if you guys want to give me a follow, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you everyone for watching. If you haven't, please subscribe.